No, give me the towel. Give me the towel. Let's go. No, give me the towel. Oh, they found him. They found him. Let's get this party started. This is boxing. This is top rank. So Terrence Crawford is exactly what a, a half an inch taller. Nothing. No, no, I don't want to answer no questions, man. You ready to go? Man, I'm ready. We are in the midst of what is a very special night in the sport. Eight programs, y'all, 25. A sold out Michelob Ultra Arena for what many feel will be a welterweight classic. The WBO Welterweight World Championship, the undefeated Terrence Crawford, eight straight knockout wins in his title reign, taking on the fearless, the relentless, former champion, Showtime, Sean Porter. I think tonight's gonna go down as one of the great welterweight matchups of this era, if not all time. Sean Porter's dedicated this fight to the late, great, marvelous Marvin Hagler. So to me, that tells me that Sean Porter's at peace with going to war tonight. I'm gonna bring a lot of athleticism to movement, uh, quickness and power and strength and speed that he's never been up against before. Things that he has, but things that he hasn't seen been, been put in the ring with him before. Will Sean Porter finally wins what he calls his Super Bowl, or is Terrence Crawford what many of us up here have been saying he is all along? Certainly the greatest welterweight, perhaps the greatest fighter in the world. Well, I really too much don't have a message to, to send to Sean Porter. Uh, there's no significance for me to go out there and try to get the knockout. If it's there, I will take it. If it's not, I'm just happy with the victory. Crawford likes to fight fire with fire, so I think we're all in for a treat tonight in our main event. It's time for both of these men to face their fears. It comes down to this one moment both these men put their life on the line for something that they absolutely love, and that's boxing. And to be the best, that's what it's about. Can Porter pull it off, or will this be Crawford's statement night? We find out right now. We are underway for the welterweight championship, and Porter comes right out. I like what Porter's doing now. He's marching forward, but he's changing his rhythm, changing slots, moving his head, coming hot behind the double jab. And when he gets close, he's letting his hands go. Dynamic fight early on, fascinating fight early on. The athleticism of Sean Porter, the skill and accuracy of Terrence Crawford. Good combination, he catches him coming in. Two punch combination by Crawford. And so good countering both off the back foot, off the front foot. And now sharp shooting to the head is Crawford. Each man having success. Porter with a couple of right hands. Crawford comes back with a left to the body as he has done a few oh. times. Goes with it again. Oh. Hey, get close. Hey, hold his arm. Yeah. He's not jumping in as much as he's not, he's not jumping in. Like uh, the Come on, bro. Pay attention to him. He's not jumping in like he was. Like he was uh, Huh? Yeah, that's come on. Hey, we gotta go. Crawford had a 14 to 10 connect advantage in that last round. Now the body punches. 28 and there is the knockdown scored in round 10 by the champ. Focus. Focus. Get your head together. Hands up. Are you okay? Would you like to continue? Give me a glove. Give me a glove. It's Crawford catches Porter early in round 10. And another combination. Beautiful work by Crawford. No, 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 no. Give me the towel. Give me the towel. Let's go. No, give me the towel. Oh, they stopped it. They stopped it! They stopped it! They stopped it! Yo, run! Run! That's that! That's that! That's it! That's it! His father says it's over! Terrence Crawford has just stopped Sean Porter! No man has done that! Crawford just did it! I'm always happy with you. And you. I love you, brother. We know.
Yeah, good. Very good. Throw it. When he flips the switch, there are a few like him. And now embracing Shakur Stevenson, who he mentors. You did it again, baby. All day, nigga. Go, nigga. What a great spirited effort by Showtime Sean Porter. Excellent, excellent fight. Are you a bad motherfucker? Next! Bud look beautiful as always. Um, I've been telling everybody Bud is the GOAT. He's one of the greatest fighters to ever do it, and I respect Bud. 38 0 with 29 knockouts. Against a guy that nobody gets rid of. A guy that has been in with the best. A two time welterweight champion. Look at the celebration with Miss Deborah. And his family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 21 seconds in round number 10. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still the undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. What a scene here at the Mandalay Bay. Hey, you know, it always been this all is a love. genuine smile. I'm happy for you. All right? Yeah. You know, this is the way it's supposed to be. Who right. right. knew this all those years ago? God knew this. We didn't know this. Absolutely. That is one of the most likable fighters of this generation, Sean Porter. Hey, good fight, Sean. Hey, keep your head up, Sean. Nothing but respect for this oh, yeah. man who fought. Anybody, anywhere, anytime. I said, he's standing up. I'm like, God bless you guys and thank you for all the support. I, I always feel it. Every night, every day. Thank you. God bless. Crawford finishes in vicious ways. Now, all the congratulations for the champ. One, I said I'm way stronger than them. I hit way harder than them, you know. But, but we just took our time and had fun in there, and you know, picked our shots and uh, made it an exciting fight. Congratulations, baby. Yes, you did that. You know, he's made a huge statement tonight. They said it was his biggest test, and I believe he, I believe he passed him with flying colors. We beat the stuff without that turkey, man. And uh, Sean Porter fought a hell of a fight. You know, he's a warrior like that, but we made it easy, man. It, it was good, it was good. He was, he was, he was, he was boxing good, some rounds he lost, and some rounds he was beating old boys' ass and shit. He had that look, he had that look. He had that look in his face. Any any bit of concern during the fight? Um, Going into the 10th round, you know what I mean? People was yelling at me, pick it up, and I was like, all right, maybe I'll pick it up, you know what I mean? And that's when I got the stoppage. Great performance. I did good, but at times, you know, uh, I let Sean work when I could have been working with him. I feel like, you know, Jeff Horn, Felix Diaz performances was better than today, tonight.